This is a sponge. This kind of sponge is really good at absorbing water because it's full of pores. Imagine a sponge that could soak up pollution like carbon emissions. Or a sponge designed to soak up metals like mercury, once found in antique thermometers. Or a sponge designed to soak up precious metals like gold. Here in Switzerland at EPFL, we are using chemistry to make sponge-like materials that can absorb heavy metals. We can already absorb lead, mercury, and gold. Thanks to ongoing discovery, we've recently added chromium to the list. Hexavalent chromium is cancerous and has been found in drinking water in unsafe quantities all around the world. Ultimately, our dream is to use these sponges to remove these contaminants, like hexavalent chromium, to make water safe to drink. Our sponges are actually compounds called metal organic frameworks, or MOFs, and they look like these little colorful pellets. MOFs are built out of metal ions and organic ligands to make a crystal that has nanopores. Different MOFs have different pore sizes, shapes, and internal characteristics that determine which substance can be absorbed. These nanopores are teeny tiny channels throughout the MOF structure, meaning that the surface area inside these MOFs is huge. It's so huge that if you were to flatten out the surface area contained in one gram of our MOFs, you would have the equivalent of a football field. We've already been able to extract gold from sewage and electronic waste dissolved in solution. For every gram of moth, we can extract 0.93 grams of high purity gold. Imagine all the gold that we could retrieve from garbage. Moreover, the whole process is very cheap. In the case of chromium, we now know that we can extract this remarkable amount. For now, all of this works in the lab for small quantities. In the long run, we aim to make these pollution-absorbing sponges available at large scales to help solve the problem of clean drinking water.